Hey everyone, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you a simple way to fix a common keyboard issue on Windows 11. This fix can help resolve keyboard problems like unresponsive keys or functionality issues. And before we start, if you enjoy tech tutorials like this and want to stay updated on the latest tips and tricks, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. Your support helps us keep bringing you helpful content. Now let's jump right in. To get started, go to the start icon at the bottom left corner of your screen. Right click on it. From this menu, click on settings. This will open up the Windows 11 settings window where we can adjust different system settings to start fixing the keyboard issue. Once you're in the settings window, you'll notice several categories listed on the left hand side of the screen like system, Bluetooth and devices, network and internet, and so on. For this fix, we're going to focus on accessibility. Click on accessibility from the left-hand menu. Once you're in the accessibility settings, scroll down until you see a section called keyboard. This section is where you can enable the on-screen keyboard and adjust other keyboard-related settings. Click on keyboard risk to open this section. Now you'll see a few options related to keyboard functionality. The one we're interested in here is the on-screen keyboard option. Toggle this on to enable the on-screen keyboard. After enabling the on-screen keyboard, you should see a small keyboard appear on your screen. You can use this to type just like a regular keyboard. If your physical keyboard is still not working at this point, don't worry. We have a few more steps to go through. Next, we'll open the Registry Editor, a tool that allows us to make deeper level changes in Windows. This is where we can adjust certain settings related to the keyboard driver, which may resolve any underlying issues. To open the Registry Editor, go to the search bar at the bottom of your screen, type Run, and click on the Run app when it appears. The Run command is a fast way to open various Windows tools without navigating through menus. When the Run dialog box appears, type Regedit and click OK. In the left pane of the registry editor, you'll see several main folders labeled. Click on the arrow next to HKEYLOC to expand it. Then follow these steps. Click the arrow next to System to expand this folder. Under System, expand the Current Control Set folder. After expanding these folders, scroll down until you find a folder called i8042PRT. This folder contains settings related to keyboard functionality on many Windows systems. Click on the asterisk i8042PRT asterisk folder to select it. Once you've selected the i8042PRT folder, you'll see several entries in the right pane of the registry editor. Look for an entry labeled asterisk start asterisk. This setting controls how Windows initializes the keyboard driver. 1. Right click on Start and select Modify. 2. A small dialog box will open displaying the asterisk value data asterisk for this entry. By default, the value data might be set to 3 or another number, which could be causing the keyboard issue. 3. Change the value data to 1. This adjustment tells Windows to load the keyboard driver in a specific way that may resolve any problems you're experiencing. 4. Once you've changed the value data to 1, click OK to save your changes. Now that you've made these adjustments, it's time to restart your computer to apply the changes. And that's it. By following these steps, you've adjusted the necessary settings in Windows 11 to help fix keyboard issues. This fix can resolve a wide range of keyboard-related problems, especially if they're caused by driver initialization issues or system configuration errors. If your keyboard is working fine now, fantastic. But if you're still experiencing issues, you might need to try additional troubleshooting steps, like updating your keyboard driver or even trying a different keyboard to see if the problem lies with the hardware. Before you go, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. We're always here with new tech tips, fixes, and tutorials to make your life easier. Also, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or if there's another topic you'd like us to cover. 